What's up, you guys? Come on in, come on in. We are going to be talking about Mugler fragrances today. This was a requested video. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my Mugler collection. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Mugler fragrances from that house. I love Mugler because back when Angel first hit the scene, it was like nothing, absolutely nothing that I had ever smelled in my whole entire life. It's just unique, it was different. You had to have a certain personality to pull this off because you know people gonna have something to say when they smell you because it was so different than anything that I was wearing back in the nine nines, okay? It was, it just hit differently, okay? Now that I'm familiar with fragrances and the genre of different fragrances, and now I can say it felt more niche because back then I was wearing a lot of body sprays and lotions and I was just coming into fragrances. I was buying a lot of fragrances from TJ Maxx, you know, just trying to feel, get a feel for what I like, you know. I found Angel um, at Saks Off and I loved it. It was a blind buy, okay? Cause you couldn't, if they didn't have a sample bottle there for you, like you were screwed. Like you couldn't open it up, open the box up and smell it. And they had no samples because they're they're like a rack store or whatever. That's what people call them nowadays, like a rack store. Uh, something kind of like um, Burlington's, but a little bit more upscale. Um, when I got it home <laughs> and I smelled it, honey, I was blown away. I didn't know how to take it at first. I was like, ooh, I messed up. I don't know about this one, but as I wore it more and more, I enjoyed it, especially in the winter time. Listen, I've been through 100 bottles of Angel, okay? I've been through 100 bottles of Angel. So we're gonna get into my Muga collection. Thank you to the person who, um, requested this video if you are new to this channel let me introduce myself my name is amanda marie over here i like to talk about fragrances i love to smell good okay i love to share my collection with you guys i love to talk in detail about fragrances and how they come to be and oh i like to talk about old fragrances i like to talk about new fragrances and everything in between so if you're someone who's into fragrances i would love absolutely love for you to hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get into the Mugler. We're gonna start with the stars, okay? And as I was talking a few minutes ago, we'll start with my very first star. This is Angel, okay? This is, is this an Eau de Toilette? This is an Eau de Parfum. It does come in an Eau de Toilette. There have been several versions of this fragrance, okay? Now you guys know people sometimes call this fragrance like a um, a gourmand. I beg to differ, honey. I beg to differ. If I'm going to call it a gourmand, it's going to be a semi-sweet chocolate gourmand. It is not a sweet milk chocolate. It's like a dark chocolate gourmand, okay? A patchouli heavy fragrance. It has a ton of notes in it and I'm just telling you the notes that stick out to me the dark chocolate, the patchouli. Uh, I want to say there may be a little um, vanilla in this fragrance. There's definitely some woody notes in this fragrance. This fragrance was uh, launched in 1992. God, that seems so long ago. I don't think I got my hands on it until like maybe 99, 98, 99, something like that. Okay, in this fragrance, again, there's a ton of notes. I'm not gonna go through everything. I think I mentioned cotton candy, there's honey, there's peach, blackberry, plum, coconut, pineapple. Um, I don't get any of those things. I don't get any pineapple in this fragrance. I don't get any coconut in this fragrance. Barely get any cotton candy. I do get a sweetness from this fragrance, okay? In the middle, you have honey. You have uh, nutmeg, lily of the valley, rose in the base, patchouli, chocolate, caramel, vanilla, tonka, musk. It's a lot of notes in this fragrance, but what I pull, what my nose pull is a dark chocolate, some vanilla, some patchouli, okay? 
I may get a little bit of honey out of this fragrance and I'll tell you honey has a very distinctive uh, smell to me and it doesn't always like I'm not it just depends on how it's blended I'm not always the biggest fan of honey I definitely get the honey in this fragrance this fragrance is very earthy to me it's very dark heavy like it, whenever it gets cold I pull this out because it's very reminiscent to me this was like my very first big girl fragrance so it's very like I said either you're either you are an angel girl or you're an alien girl I'm an angel girl for sure for sure this is angel eau de parfum from Mugler I do have the eau de toilette version and I don't know if you guys watched the video where I talked about how I, when it first came out, like I, I refuse, I refuse to go and smell it because I was like, nope, uh-uh, I don't want it. I think it was first released in 2019, Angel Eau de Toilette, and I have it right here. Now this one actually stands. I didn't even know these fragrances came with a star holder. It's like a little metal piece and you pop it in right there and it sits up. Some like years ago when I first started my channel, a few of you were like, go to the Mugula website and you can purchase them. But I went to the website and I cannot find them. I don't know if they don't make them anymore. I mean, I guess if you search hard enough, you can find them. Like I saw one, I think on Macari, but they wanted like $25 for it. And I was like, girl, bye. Huh? I'm not gonna give you $25 for that. So what I did, cause you know, I'm cheap. I went to Michael's and I bought these cute little plastic, tiny plastic easels. And the fragrance literally sits in the, e in the easel like so, like that and you just sit it on your display, your vanity or whatever, and it's fine. As long as you're not constantly touching it or moving around, it stands inside this easel perfectly. And I did not smell this fragrance for the first time until I wanna say like last year. Maybe late 2020, I doubt it. I think it was 2021 when I first purchased this fragrance or bought it. It could have been 2020, late 2020. This fragrance is absolutely stunning, okay? It is stunning. I love this fragrance. I feel like because the OG has so much sentimental value, I don't wanna say I like it more than the OG, but baby. Compliment getter. Every time I wear this fragrance, someone is asking me what I'm wearing. It's gorgeous. It is like my springtime summer angel. You know what I'm saying? I, you, honestly, you can wear this all year round. It's fresh, bright. It has a pop of something very much youthful because this one comes off a little bit like old lady. I'm not even gonna lie. It's probably what I would be wearing when I'm like in my 70s and 80s, okay? Because it is very much mature. You smell that and you know that woman or that person that's wearing that fragrance, like you you, you just can't talk to them no any kind of way. You know when they wear this, baby, they have put in their dues, okay? They have put in their dues. They worked for 60 years. They retired. They gonna tell you just like it is. If they don't like what you're wearing, they gonna tell you. It, whatever y'all know how these grandparents talk they don't care what they tell you what they say they just gonna let you know they're gonna shoot straight to the hip this fragrance embodies all of that but as of right now per she is amazing peony mandarin orange praline apple red berries i get the red berries oh it makes it fruity and the apple those two mixed together you still get the patchouli you get the white woods and cedars so at initial spray, it is reminiscent of the OG. But yes, it is very youthful. It is very bright. It's very playful. And with all that, it's sexy. It's very appealing to the nose, to my nose anyway. You guys are not angel fans. I would highly recommend you get your nose on this. To me, this is backup worthy. Like, I need a backup bottle of this because it is simply gorgeous. If you like Angel Nova, you'll like this one okay 
so good angel the eau de toilette okay i don't know what batch this is but i'm thinking this batch this could be a 2020 batch could be a 2019 batch i'm not sure the og i would say is a uh, more unisex it leans a little bit more masculine funny thing of it is i dated a guy back in the day they used to wear the the alien i'm sorry the angel for men and they both smell very similar like i didn't really notice any differences between those two fragrances um the male version and the female version they smell very very similar to my nose but yeah if you're a guy you could totally pull this off okay don't wear it to work and if you do you do one spray moving on the next star i have plenty of stars y'all i got a lot of stars because i'm an angel girl so i have a lot of stars this is Angel Eau Corsier. This was the next star that I purchased. This is a vacation in a bottle. It's fruity, it is bright, it's feminine, it's playful. Smells like a pina colada, smells like very coconutty. Just to let you guys know, this is the 2020 version, okay? Because the fragrance was released in 2020. And this is a fruity gourmand, okay? Very fruity and very sweet. That's what that means. In this fragrance, you get... Oh, it is so pretty. You get fig, nectar, praline, patchouli, vanilla, and uh, magnolia. So, I'm not picking up a lot on the magnolia um, in this fragrance. I don't really pick up on any florals actually i do get the fig and the, the praline is what's giving in this giving it that sweet gourmandish vibe and of course the vanilla this is um slightly heavy on the patchouli especially in the dry down not as heavy as the og though but you do pick up on the patchouli in this fragrance but i think it's definitely vacation in a bottle and from what i understand there there were several um versions of the eau Corsier. i think one came in like an orange and blue i didn't pick that one up um and it, i think it was released in 2019 so from my understanding uh they would do these summer scents and so i feel like there is probably a few versions of the Eau Corsier floating around. I don't know if they even make this one anymore, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure if you search like Fragrance Net or Fragrance Egg, some of you know discount websites, you could probably find this fragrance easily. But this is a beautiful scent. This is my third um, star, okay? It's gorgeous. If you're into fruity gourmands, this is for you, for sure. If you if you love angel okay now let me say this as far as smelling like the OG I'm gonna say no I, I don't think it's far from the OG but when I smell it initially like if I did a blind smell on this I would not pick up any angel uh, any OG DNA so in case you're the type of person that doesn't care for angel I think you would it would be okay if you bought this fragrance because it ain't really giving Angel, in my opinion. Okay, so my next star is Angel Nova. And I want to say I bought this one in 2019. No, I bought this one in 2020. Yeah, I bought this one in 2020 when it first hit the scene. And I actually enjoy this fragrance a lot. I did a video in, because when this fragrance first came out, people we're comparing it to Delina. Now, I don't have the original Delina. I have Delina exclusive. But from my understanding, both the exclusive and the regular Delina both have a note of lychee. This fragrance also has a note of lychee. So I think because of the lychee, people were trying to compare the two. In my opinion, they smell nothing alike. Compare it to the new um, fragrance that was released by Carolina Herrera very good girl glam these two very good girl glam and this one smells just alike in my opinion they smell so similar they open up with that uh bright fruity kind of like a sour fruity type of scent 
those two I think are very uh, similar but I would prefer this one over to this one just hits different in my opinion it's louder it has a better longevity in my opinion this is a gorgeous scent very different from what I would have expected them to release in this fragrance you get raspberry lychee rose um, you get wood it's called uh, I Akigala wood and then you get benzoin okay but yeah this is a beautiful spring summery scent it's gorgeous it just reminds me of a what would I say it's a fruity scent but it's definitely not gourmand if anything I would say more aquatic let me see what the cores are fresh okay fruity rose sweet oody tropical warm spicy fresh i think i said fresh like five times already but yeah it could have a, it could have a little bit of an aquatic feel to the fragrance another fragrance that i would compare this to in a way it's reminding me of that fragrance in a way is the gucci guilty absolute perfume okay they smell a little similar especially in the dry down i get this woody kind of oak moss feel to the fragrance yeah those two are very similar i think that one has some berries in it as well so yeah i would definitely not compare this to delina okay no it doesn't smell like delina at all i prefer this one over the angel au corsier 20 2019 version that's a fruity gourmand um i don't mind fruity gourmands but i think it just had a little bit more uh patchouli in it for my liking but i like this one this is a good one this one is a must buy if you and i share similar interests in fragrances and you're looking to buy a mugler i would say let this be your first one i think you would thoroughly enjoy this fragrance again if you like fragrances like the very good girl glam if you like fragrances like the Gucci Guilty Absolute Perfume. You would like this one. If you like, if you like fragrances like Candy Yum Yum by Mac, I think you will enjoy that one too. They're different, but they have they carry the same vibe. You know what I'm saying? Now, one day I was in the mall, minding my business, just you know, browsing and sniffing, and the sales associate was like would you like to try this? And I was like, okay. And it struck me because I had never seen this uh, particular angel before. So I was like, yeah, let me smell it. Sure. I bought that thing immediately, okay? I purchased it immediately because it literally blew me away. Oh my gosh. It's Angel O Sucre. Now there's Angel O Corsier. And then there's Angel Eau Sucre. This is Eau Sucre. This one was released in 2017, I think, but I didn't buy mine until 2021, something like that. All right, the notes in this fragrance include sherbet, citrus, red berries, meringue, caramel, vanilla, and patchouli. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is like a it's, it reminds me of lemon sherbet. I don't even know if they make lemon sherbet. I would imagine they do make a lemon sherbet. This one is refreshing, okay? It's bright, it's fun, it's sweet. It could give you vacation vibes almost. Now this is definitely another fruity gourmand. Both of these are fruity gourmands, okay? fruity and sweet now if i had to choose one if i had to pick one i would more than likely go with this one but i am a citrus girl i love citrus smelling scents it just smells like a bowl of fruit okay the lemons the berries oh i like this sweet powdery caramel okay fruity vanilla citrus those are the accords oh my god it's amazing i'm just gonna spray some on my skin because I can't get enough, it's gorgeous. I don't know if you'll be able to find this one, but again, if you search hard enough, I'm sure it will pop up on somebody's website, okay? Angel Eau Sucre 2017 version. Now, I don't know if they have another uh, version of this one, but 
they may there's several angels out there and i'm not even gonna pretend that i am familiar with all the angels like i said in the beginning of the video it's too many it's too many for me to keep up with now i know they got that new angel ice and i've been teeter-tottering i need to smell it first because if it's giving this i'm not gonna get it from the reviews i've watched already i feel like it's giving angel corsier 2017 so for that i probably won't be picking up but if i run across it in the mall i would definitely give it a sniff okay moving on to my aliens now this is gonna be quick because i only got two this is alien mirage too many again there are a ton of flankers of alien a ton at some point i do want to smell alien fusion i've heard that one is reminiscent of like red hot candies i don't know if you have it comment down below one that i really really wanted and i i think i just came too late in the in the game when it comes to reviewing fragrances and i i can never get my hands on it is alien essence absolute you guys go y'all went ham for alien essence absolute i have a dupe coming i should get it one day this week and I will share it with you guys. I am bucking, okay? I am like so ready to smell this fragrance. When I get the box, I'm just gonna rip it open because I need to see what the, what, 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 what the what. Y'all was going crazy behind Alien Essence Absolute. So I can't remember when I purchased this one, but in this one, you get notes of you get a mineral note, you get pink pepper, uh, you get lotus, you get syngrinja, I hope I'm saying that right. You get hinoki wood and white amber. This is very unique to me. What are the accords? The accords are mineral, white floral, woody, aromatic, amber, sweet, aquatic, fresh, spicy, soft, spicy. It's just different. It's just different it doesn't remind me of the og whatsoever i wouldn't even know that this was an alien fragrance it's so far from anything alien like honestly it shouldn't be called alien because i think when they make flankers that are so far from the og why even call it a flanker i feel like i get a hint of the jasmine in this fragrance but there's no jasmine in this fragrance. There's no jasmine. That's the thing. It does have that soapy um, jasmine smell to it. Y'all know that, I don't know, for me, jasmine kind of comes off as soapy, especially in the alien fragrances, but it's beautiful. It's fresh. It is aquatic-like. It does have a bit of a, a wet, watery type feel to it. The mineral note, I didn't know minerals could smell so good, like honestly. It's everything. I can't even compare it to anything that I have in my collection because it smells different from anything that I have. This is uh, Alien Mirage. Could also be discontinued as well. I think a lot of them are discontinued. Okay, now this one gets me close to the OG. As close to the OG as I want to get. I don't want to get that close. Beautiful scent. <sighs> Beautiful vanilla scent. This fragrance. I get the jasmine in this fragrance. I get the vanilla in this fragrance. I get the coconut water in this fragrance. It's gorgeous. Perfect for spring and summer. This one is perfect for spring and summer as well. More, a little bit more mature. So maybe like a sexy little summer date. You know what I'm saying? Um, this one beautiful scent i'm thinking brunch i'm thinking church i'm thinking if i'm going to an event in the daytime it has a very classy feel to me love this scent perfect for the office it's non offensive jasmine is not heavy 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 like the og this one gets as like i said this one for me gets very close to the og and it's perfect for me. I love the combination of the jasmine and vanilla in this fragrance. I think it is really, really beautiful. Love this one. Now, you know, I don't really know if I'm the biggest fan of jasmine. 
I don't have a lot of jasmine based fragrances. Depending on how it's blended, I don't really know if I prefer jasmine or if I really like jasmine. You gotta kinda, you know, smell fragrances and research them to see what you like and what you don't like. I'll wear a jasmine fragrance all day over a two bros fragrance because two bros can come out very old fashioned smelling to me. Two bros is a very, I have a love hate with two bros. So, and I think I kinda have a love hate with jasmine as well now, but I, any day, I'll wear jasmine any day over two bros. I probably should have talked about this one earlier. Yeah, I'm backtracking a little bit. This is Angel Muse. Um, this one was released in 2016. This is definitely a gourmand scent to me, okay? This is gonna be like a chocolate hazelnut type of scent. You got, you don't have a lot of notes in the scent. Pink pepper, grapefruit, hazelnut, uh, Cocoa spread, patchouli, and vetiver. This is gorgeous. It smells like the OG Angel, but heavier on the hazelnut chocolatey smell. The patchouli in this one is a little bit toned down in my opinion. But it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Man, that hazelnut makes me hungry. It smells a little earthy. It smells a little spicy. It definitely smells warm. I would go for this one more in the fall and winter. It smells so good. Oh, I love this one a lot. I bought this one at TJ Maxx. I feel like this could be backup bottle worthy, but I do want to try the Angel Muse. I think that is the Eau de Toilette. This is the Eau de Parfum. I think people may prefer the um, Angel Muse Eau de Toilette over this one, okay? Let me know if you have the Eau de Toilette, comment down below and let me know what you think of it. You think it's worth me adding to my Mugler collection. Okay, this next fragrance is Aura. This is a very interesting fragrance. It's very green to me. It opens up with a little bit of a medicinal type of smell, but then when it dries down, you're left with this creamy, sweet, green uh, type of fragrance. The notes in this fragrance include rhubarb, okay, bergamot, green notes, orange blossom, lang lang, pear, bourbon vanilla, woods, amberwood, sandalwood, and coumarin. This one I grab for in the wintertime. I don't like to wear this one in the summertime. Yeah, you get that rhubarb straight out the gate. That rhubarb scent, I'm not very familiar with rhubarb, but it to me, is coming off very medicinal. And if you can tolerate that for about 20 to 30 minutes while this fragrance dries down completely, you would probably enjoy this fragrance. But again, it does have a licorice medicinal opening okay that opening is what it is girl like yeah it's different it's different and the bottle is so cute and very befitting of how this fragrance smells this fragrance smells just like this bottle green okay sweet green medicinal earthy vanillic scent very unique it's giving me niche vibes. It's giving me indie vibes, okay? It's giving me, it definitely doesn't give me designer because there is absolutely, I've smelled nothing that smells similar to this whatsoever. If anything, probably uh, Levert by Killian, maybe. This is just a standalone, okay? She is, baby, she is not like anybody else, okay? They, they are not the same. That's her, that's her logo. We are not the same, honey. That's her logo. Kind of reminds me of, you know that, um, and only if you have a black grandma will you get this. I know that green alcohol, if you black, I guarantee you, your grandma has a bottle, a big bottle of that green alcohol. That is what this is giving me. This is giving me, oh, icy hot, um, you know, you had a rough day, you had a tough workout, and you gonna put that green alcohol in your bath water, or you gonna rub some of that green alcohol on your muscles. 
This is it right here. I don't know why. To be honest, I don't even wear this one as much um, as any of the other uh, fragrances that I have from Mugler. Got to be in a certain kind of mood to wear this fragrance, to be honest with you. But I'm not giving it up. I think it's discontinued. I'm not for sure. And I've not tried any of the other flankers. They're so hard to find. Let me know if y'all like the other flankers. I think it comes in a pink bottle. I saw it years ago and I almost picked it up, but I didn't. This is Aura by Mugler. Very last one. And I think this was probably the last. This is my last purchase. Like, this is the most recent addition to my collection. This is Mormanity by Mugler. And y'all, it used to be so affordable on Amazon, but people topped it up so much um, a few years back. And baby, I paid like $100 for this. And I don't even know if you can find it on Amazon anymore. This has been around forever and I'm pretty sure this is discontinued. But if not, comment down below and let us know, okay? In this one, you get four notes. You get fig, caviar, fig tree leaf. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you get nothing but fig and caviar. You get fig, caviar, you get some of the fig tree, and you get some of the fig leaf. Okay, and you get the fruit. This is nothing but fig. And the rumor going around when this, when this was being talked about is that it smelled fishy because of the caviar. Girl, no, this is not fishy at all. You read that on like for Grantica, you know how you can read everybody's comments? Don't listen to that. Don't listen to that because ain't nothing fishy about this fragrance at all. I will let y'all know if it's fishy or not. And, and guess what? If it was fishy, I would have sold it on Macari because we don't do fish over here. We don't walk around smelling like fish. Per. This fragrance is woody aquatic fruity green sweet fresh okay i would agree with all of those when initially when i smelled this i get something very feminine and soft it's like the prettiest floral note in this fragrance but it's not floral at all this is not a floral scent it's very unique just to be fig and caviar and smell the way it smells I get fresh, I get soft, I get feminine, I get pretty, non-offensive, perfect everyday scent. I can literally see this being someone's signature scent um, because it's just, it's, it's not what I expected it to be. In a bottle like this with the chain and the metal and everything, the juice is pink. The smell is like that soft pink. The smell is giving me soft. You know what I'm saying? This was a blind buy for me. I didn't know what to expect when I got this fragrance, but I, I definitely tell you this. Don't let the reviews fool you. This fragrance is not fishy or anything by any means. This is a beautiful scent. I don't know if you can get your hands on it. Right now, let me look, hold on, while, while I got y'all on the line, let me see if I can pull it up on Amazon, and if so, what it's hitting for. Ooh, child, baby. Okay, so I just put it up on Amazon. It is on Amazon. It is going for $111. If you want this fragrance, you better get it now before it goes up to something ridiculous. This is an Eau de Parfum. I do see an Eau de Toilette going for $82. This fragrance gets a bad rip, but it's amazing. It is really, really amazing. Really soft, feminine, pretty, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Like I can't say enough positive things about it because it is really, really nice. So, Mormanity by Moogler. That was my whole Mugler collection. Um, the Womanity was the last one I added and I probably would go for the Angel Muse Eau de Toilette. Um, I do feel like these new releases are very different from what I'm used to when I get Mugler. They were bought out by L'Oreal. Uh, Estee Lauder, I can't remember. They were bought out though or they sold to one of them too. And so, What's been released here lately 
has not really moved me or excited me as much as when they were just independent on their own. I think the only new releases that it have really, really excited me since they, um, you know, got bought out is been Angel Nova. I think Angel Nova is the only one that has really, really excited me since the buyout. They can sometimes reformulate fragrances, the ones that we love. They reformulate them and the reformulation girl don't be worth a fart in the wind, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what Mugler fragrance you own, okay? If you're into fragrances, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload. Yes, comment down below if you want me to do another video like this of, of certain houses that I have that you may want me to talk about. My biggest collections is Mugler, is Givenchy, it is Armani, it is Killian. It is Kali. I feel like I have almost every Kali fragrance. Um, so yeah, comment down below if you want me to do another video similar to this. I'm here to please you, baby. So let me know what you want to see, okay? I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.